everybody, and welcome back to some more Don't Starve Shipwrecked. Last episode, we were working on getting ourselves these sandbags over here. I think we can get ourselves a nice bit of lobster meat for dinner here. Oh, this is going to be lovely. And last episode, a bunch of people left some helpful comments in the comment section. Some really long, really detailed comments. And I have a good plan for what I want to do over the course of the next few episodes. Hopefully, we do not die, and hopefully I can manage to execute my plan uh, quite nicely and hopefully stay alive. Uh, maybe throughout the winter, and that involves today setting up a crock pot. So, uh, if we head back over to the science machine over here and we look under the food tab, uh, we should be able to make a crock pot somewhere down here. Where? In here it is, crock pot. So, to make that, we're going to need six twigs, six charcoal, and three cut stone. So, for that, we're going to, need to get ourselves some, first of all, some charcoal, which we can do fairly easily as uh, willow, because all we have to do is cut down these burnt trees. So, let's grab our hatchet real quick. We're probably going to have to make another one of those, but that does get us our first piece of charcoal. Do we have, actually? Do we have any lying around, is my question right off the bat, because we do have two chests over here, and I'm fairly certain we burned down some trees earlier. We do? Okay, cool. Uh, so I will take those. Uh, do we have any stone? We do not. That is fine. I'm getting a little bit worried, just a little bit, about all the bees that are around us. It's scaring me a little bit. I hope that it's not a big problem, but it could be, and also I'm not quite sure why I was heading up that way when we have this nice little area full of rocks down here. I don't want to break the rocks that have the limpets on them because, like we've said before, the limpets do grow back. Wow! That spider spawner got real big real quick. And I believe that is now at max level, so we can probably harvest that for some string or something like that. I don't want to attract the attention of all the monkeys again if I can avoid it. I would like, if possible, to just grab all this stuff here. Unfortunately, he's taking it. Oh, I, oh, I hate these monkeys. I hate them with a passion. Uh, I will drop this here. You can have that. I don't care about that. If you take my box, though, I'm going to I'm gonna kill you. I'm going to have you... Oh, he's a, oh, drop the rock. Drop, drop. Oh, this is so annoying. Oh, my goodness. We need a way to... Um, you know what? If I get my spear out and try and attack him, is he going to... Yeah, back away. I, I don't know if there's any better... Oh, my goodness. Then they throw poop at us. This is a lose-lose situation. We built our base near these monkeys, and all they do, because we've done that, why do we always pick up the nitrate first? Because of that, all that ever happens, and just ignore those uh, lovely Windows 10 sounds in the background there. All that ever happens because of that, let's eat this seaweed. All that ever happens because of that is be it's, they pick up the stuff that we leave on the floor, and they throw a poop at us if we try to do anything about it. It is absolutely lovely. All right, let's drop you on the floor. Let's take this. We've got a little bit of time until the dark section of the night comes down. Hopefully that spider doesn't aggro with me getting a little bit close. And hopefully that monkey's kind of got uh, his own like little range. And hopefully he doesn't try and come any closer than he is right now. Uh, I'm not actually quite... Oh my goodness. Don't come at me. <laughs> There's a lot of spiders. Um, our thing's broken. I'm not 100% sure on how much stone we need to get cut stone. We might see like a battle royale here between the spiders and the um, and the bees. Uh, ew, this is not particularly good because we don't have much fuel. I guess we could add cooked grass to the mix. Uh, actually, I guess we could add charcoal to the mix. Um, please don't come near me. <laughs> Thank you very much. All right, let's refine some cut stone. So we definitely have enough to get three cut stone here. That is good. Uh, I'm going to, like, eat these petals. He seems... Somewhat passive right now. He seems to be scared of the fire, of all things. I'm going to kind of just go with that and hope that nothing changes. We do need some twigs. Do we have any in the chests here? I thought we had a backlog of twigs. Apparently, I was completely 100% wrong. Now, our food's are doing great. We did get some uh, some fish earlier in the day. So thankfully, we can go ahead and just cook those up pretty quickly. I'm not really loving the fact that the spiders are just wandering around during the night. It's a little scary. Our sanity is going down, but hopefully that's not too big of an issue. Our food, health, and hunger. Oh, I can hear, like, the spider bee war going on. But I can't see it. Oh, I can hear the sounds. The sounds are horrifying. My goodness. Now, something else that I want to work on as well, once we've got... Um, oh, here it is. Look at this. Look at this. 
what? One thing I do want to work on once we've got the clock pot up and running is the Ice Maker 3000, I think is what it's called. Let me look through here real quick. Uh, there's a new item, a new science machine added in the uh, in the shipwreck DLC that allows you, here we go, the Ice Maker 3000. To make it, we need a thermal stone, some bamboo, and some doodads. The doodads and the uh, bamboo we can make fairly easily. We've made them already. And then the thermal stone is probably under, like, survival, maybe? But uh, once we make that, basically, all we have to do is give it fuel, and it will produce ice. And the reason that I want to do that is because a couple of, here it is, thermal stone. It's some stone, a pickaxe, and some flint. So we just need more stone, another pickaxe, and then we're good to go. And the reason that I want to make that is that it, uh, it allows us to make some. It allows us to make a constant supply of ice, which is really good for making some of the uh, the newer foods in uh, in shipwreck. Now the question is, do we have any twigs like just on this island? I don't know if we do. I think we might have to get back on a boat and go to the other island in order to find some. So what I'm thinking is that we're gonna have to make a new boat because we we, we have a boat, but our current boat is pretty bad. We got a sapling over. Here. Oh, there's a few saplings here. We could probably maybe try this. We need six. We've got three. This takes us to four. The sandbags seem to be doing an okay job. I will pick up all of the aftermath of last night's little battle that went down. There is some free spider glands, some free silk, some free stingers. I will take it all. We should probably... Okay, let's head... Ah, I'm doing a lot of backtracking here, which I don't like because it's a bit inefficient. But we can put a lot of our stuff away here, like these, um, these palm leaves. And I guess... Uh, the sand for now uh, and start picking up these limpets every time we go past because when we take them off They'll start respawning and we really want those to be respawning as fast as possible and getting as many of them as we can Also, someone did say that we can plant coconuts to get more coconut trees Which uh, if that's true, we should be doing that a lot more frequently because um, More coconut trees is great more coconut trees equals more coconuts Which means we can get more and more food and that could be a nice constant supply So one thing I might try doing actually right here uh, because we have this coconut tree just over uh, in front of us here. What I might try to do is cut this thing down and see if we can replant a coconut. What would be great is if we could plant that coconut back down. Oh, flipping. Of course my hatch is broke. <laughs> what would be great is if we could plant it back down right in front of us. But uh, nevertheless, we can now go ahead and make ourselves a crock pot, which is exactly what we're going to do. Uh, we will place it down, I think, somewhere over, I guess, like here, maybe? I want it kind of close to my, uh, my chimney here. Uh, and also near my uh, palm leaf hut. So when winter does come, we can go in there if needs be. Let's make a quick uh, axe here. I keep calling it a hatchet, um, even though it's called an axe. Same thing. <laughs> I'll take that. And let's try this. Let's, let's test the coconut theory. Does the coconut theory work? We did wake that bee up. Hopefully he's not too mad. So we only got one coconut from that, but that's fine. Can I replant this here? Oh, I can. So if I just plant that there... Is that going to... Oh, my gosh. So, that's going to become another tree. Hopefully, that will become a coconut tree. That could work out pretty well for us. Okay. So, what we need to do now is we need to get more stone. So, let's make another pickaxe. What are we missing? We are missing sticks, of course. Let's get ourselves another pickaxe. Let's grab ourselves some more stone. I don't know whether or not we... Don't take those seeds. Thank you very much. I don't know whether or not we can use a partially destroyed pickaxe in the recipe for making the ice machine. But if we can... That would be great. Let's take all of these real quick. Those flipping monkeys are going to drive me insane, but it's fine. They do come in a little bit useful. The poop they drop allows us to make things like farms and stuff, so it shouldn't be too big of a deal living with them, hopefully. Uh, let's take this, and I'm going to try breaking one of these, like, magma piles here. Is that possible? No. It is not at all possible. Okay. Instead, I'm going to get worryingly close. Oh, you know what? I'm going to flipping spear this guy first. He's dead. Okay, we, we killed him. <laughs> we just killed him, okay? Uh, because he tried to steal our stuff. It's fine. That's what he, he deserved it. He deserved it. Let's take this. Uh, we should probably drop, like, the bee stinger and stuff uh, over in... Um, oh, I can't carry more stuff. We're full up on stones. Oh, no, I need to drop this. That's all. Um, we should probably put things like the bee stinger and stuff back away in, uh, in the house. Because there's really no point in carrying it around. <laughs> Here we go. Not bothered about that nitrate or whatever it's called. Let's head back. I think we only needed like 12 stone to make this work. So uh, let's have a look here. If we go under science and we go down to... We got the ice maker. For that, we need the touchstone. Do we have what it takes to make this? And also, where is it? Thatch pack. Thermal stone. We need... Oh, we need a fresh pickaxe. Okay, so let's make a... Oh, we need more twigs. Ah, oh, why is it? Why is the pickaxe the most expensive item on the list? Okay, let's go ahead. And, like, uh, no, okay. See what I'm doing? I'm, I'm walking backwards and forwards way too much. 
Right now, I'm going to go unload some of this stuff. Like, these bee stingers can go. The spider guns can go. We need the twigs. We don't need, I guess, the bananas right now. We can come back for those. Uh, the grassroots we can put back for now, I guess. Uh, also, snake skin and silk can go away as well. Those things are things that we can come back to. The bees, the bees <laughs> are getting really, really all over the place. Oh, people did say that we can make a hammer now and we can actually move the science machine away from its original location. Um, I assume the same is true for all the rest of the stuff, but to be fair, I would prefer not to have to move everything just to escape the bees, so I'm really hoping that they're not much of an issue, but they probably will be at this rate. All right, that is enough to make us another pickaxe here. These guys seem to have forgotten that I killed their friend mere moments ago, which is nice. They're not throwing poop at me. Uh, so I'm just going to leave them to do their thing. That is fine. I will quickly grab this poop on the way over. I'm not going to even try and entertain the thought of talking to these spiders just yet. We could probably kill them. Uh, in all fairness, we could probably fight them and win, but I don't want to take the risk at all. So we're going to come back over here. We're going to go to survival. We should be able to prototype a thermal stone. We need more flint. Ah, <laughs> Why? Why you do this to me, game? We get all the resources and you tell me I need four more. Ah, there were so many spiders. There were so many spiders. Oh, my gosh. I don't think... Oh, you know what? Flipping. Here we go. Here we go. Right. Okay. Can I, can I instigate a bee spider fight? Is this doable or is this... The realm of science fiction. Oh my goodness, <laughs> there's too many of them. Um, thankfully, the way they work is once you've hit them once, they don't. Uh, don't die, don't die, don't die. Once you've hit them once, they don't um, tend to be able to move, but if they have friends, those friends will attack you. Now, we need to get back real quick. I'm going to equip my lighter. Just to be to be safe, but let's quickly drop some fuel on this fire. And then let's 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 not, let's not die for the evening, okay? Tonight's goal: don't die. <laughs> I'm not gonna fire that spider. I'm not gonna engage him. Thank you. Good. He went away. If we fight them, they kind of come in herds. They have kind of like like wolf mentality. They're gonna come at me if we attack just one of them. So I'm gonna leave them. I'm gonna let them do their thing. And then tomorrow we will go out. We will try again to get that last piece of flint to make ourselves the the ice machine. We could start putting stuff in the clock pot right now. I don't I don't think you can put seeds in, can you? No. Um, but uh, basically, uh, I had a couple of recipes open in a web browser. But uh, ice is used for a lot of them. Like if you put ice and lobster in there, you get some uh, like frozen lobster or something like that. And there was also one uh, for limpets and ice as well, which both of those are things that we have quite a fair bit of. And so I figured that um, getting a nice supply of ice would help us a lot in a kind of sustainable food for the future, especially if we can make the ice like on demand with the, oh my good God, especially if we can make the ice on demand with the ice maker 3000. The trouble comes when you're trying to fight multiple of them at once. You just need some food. Oh God. No, 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 no. <laughs> We've got two health. We've got two health. We've got two health. We have two health. That didn't heal us at all. Neither did that. I am terrified. <laughs> I am absolutely terrified right now. What the heck? Okay. Okay. Deep breaths. Deep breaths. Let's use our pickaxe. Let's not use the wrong one. I was going to use the wrong one then. Let's quickly break some stones. That didn't get us any flint, which is real annoying. I, I don't even know if these types of rocks can get you three flint. Today is not the episode where I die, he says somewhat preemptively. But I do not intend to die today. Not going to get back on that boat because that boat is terrifyingly low on HP. Oh, this is not good. <laughs> this is not a good situation to be in. Uh, we need food that is not terrible. Also... Better armor is one thing that we need. Um, little scared that the frogs, that the frogs, that the spiders are going to be here. Uh, I will eat these bananas. The bananas give us one HP. Count one HP. Um, okay, well, let's go, let's sit here and let's look at getting uh, another nautical ship. What do we need? We need 
to get some vines with our machete, which we do have, and some bods to get a robot. So bods and vines. That we can do. We have an axe. We have a machete. We don't have to rush towards getting the ice machine. It would be nice if we could get there fast. Uh, and I'm going to eat these flowers as we walk past them here because that gives us one HP uh, per flower that we eat. I'm not going to bother with the rot there. But uh, if we could, you know, possibly just get ourselves some stuff here. Get in a rowboat, just calmly drive over or row over or sail over to that other, other island and get ourselves some flint without having to deal with the spiders. That would be great. That would be absolutely fantastic. Oh, so we need to get some boards. Boards should be fairly easy. Um, the lower section of this island does have quite a bit of those vines in. So getting those, again, should be not too big of a deal. Uh, let's get one or two more of these. I can see some vines already. Okay, so for whatever reason, my audio decided to stop recording there. Hopefully, you guys didn't miss too much. We are currently on the hunt trying to get a new robo. That is the plan. We need four vines and three planks worth of wood. Now, this is going to be our third vine. We need one more vine, which shouldn't be too big of a deal. The monkeys are not in a bad mood right now, which is good, because they're not going to throw poop at me, and therefore, we're not going to take any damage. We're currently on 4 HP, which is not great. Not particularly great. Uh, I may as well here use this time to grab a little bit more wood. We might have to wait until tomorrow to sail over to the other island. Um, we might not have to. Oh, no, 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 no. I forgot about snakes. Ah, okay, we are going to run. We're just going to run. I could try and fight the snake, but on 4 HP, I am terrified of trying to fight that snake. I will grab this as we walk past. Uh, I will do everything in my power to avoid the spider's nest. Um, we should also look into armor. Um, this is something that people uh, in the comment section did tell me about. Apparently, you can make seashell armor. And I'm pretty sure we have quite a few seashells, right? Uh, we got a lot of rot in here. Some of our food's going bad. That's not particularly good. I thought we had a lot. Oh, we do have some seashells. Here we go. If I take these, uh, let's put these palm leaves in here or something like that. Uh, can I make a seashoot? Uh, seashoot. A seashell armor. Okay, so we need rope. And then seaweed. All right, that's fine. So, the plan now is to refine three boards. That monkey is not checking my chest. He used to, but he's not anymore. Uh, let's put this boat into the ocean. And you know what? I'm going to get into it. I'm going to go now. Um, we might have to spend another night on the other island. And we are pretty low on hunger. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to dip into my seed reserve, which is uh, pretty extensive, thankfully. We have a nice little reserve of seeds that we can use, so that's good. But uh, we're going we're gonna to sail out. We're going to try to get some flint, maybe kill some more crabs, get some more of that stuff going. Uh, seaweed as well on the way is going to be good. Our sanity is not particularly great, so more flowers as well would be nice. I think we need a two or three seaweed in order to make that seashell um, armor which would definitely be a good idea. People also mentioned the football helmet, which we can get using pig skin, which we can get, I believe, by hammering that uh, touchstone that we used up earlier on in the series. Also, a little bit of exploration, maybe try and find the new touchstone. That would be uh, a nice idea as well. Shouldn't do that. That gets us wet and also, I think, uh, quick, like, shortens the lifespan of our boat. I think it breaks the boat faster if we sail into those waves. So not doing that is going to be kind of priority number one. Let's just drift on over here. We're leaving the heavy wave section. Which is nice. Uh, not bothered. Oh, that's a lobster. Okay. So we, we could do catching some of those for some food. But for now, I just want to get some seaweed. I will also get this seaweed because we need both. All right. Now let's get out. Let's find some flint. It's almost dark. We have what it takes to make a fire, right? Yep, we do. Okay. We don't have what it takes, unfortunately, to make uh, a temp fire. I want to get it out. But we can do that uh, particularly quickly by grabbing ourselves some grass here. We should probably also grab uh, any of those leftover, um, these, uh, these saplings? Yeah, any of these saplings as well, uh, whenever we can, because those are going to come in useful as soon as we have not too many left on our island. Let's just make our way down here. I see some rocks on the mini-map. Also, grabbing these coconut trees to plant more coconut trees by us would probably also be a good idea. Let's settle down, I guess, right in between these two rocks here so we can just mine these rocks as the night passes by. And hopefully we're not going to die. <laughs> that, that's the, again, still the overall goal is just to not die. I don't know what we're going to need this uh, nighter for. I keep ignoring it, and I probably shouldn't. I should probably grab it whenever possible. Okay, let's not, nope, let's not use that other pickaxe because we need a fully working pickaxe in order to progress. And I think we only need three flints, so let's just, let's just stick with what we've got. 
and let's not die, okay? Add some fuel to the fire. We should be easily able to make it through the night, and everything should be good. Huh. This is, uh, this has been tough. We're on 4 HP. That is, that is, that is scarily low. It's scarily low. I would very much like to be on more HP. Leaving, ah, uh, that's not good. <laughs> that's not good. Also, our sanity's on the way down. We definitely need to go pick some flowers in this other section and, and get to, 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 to eating some of those because eating them increases our hunger. Uh, not our hunger, our health. And, and also picking them increases our sanity. So all that kind of stuff is, is something we need to do. Uh, does, does roasting seeds, like, increase our sanity? It does. Also, does roasting, does roasted seeds increase our health? Oh, it does. Okay. Well, <laughs> new plan, guys. While the night passes by, I'm going to cook up actually a fair number of my seeds. Seeds... Uh, as we have shown by having 21 of them, are not too uncommon. And right now, we're in a bit of a dire situation in terms of uh, health and a little bit in terms of hunger. That I don't feel too bad about eating a few of these. Even if it only gets us up to 15, that's better than being on 4. Maybe we could take one hit. It just gives us that little bit of extra security. Maybe we could take one hit and not die. That is, like, my plan, hopefully. Um, all right, let's... Let's, let's, let's... Oh, uh, do I want to go? I think I want to go back. I was going to talk, I was going to like, maybe go and, and cook up and grab some flowers. But I think instead, what's going to be a better idea is to uh, to just take, grab as many limpets as we can. Try and head back. Try and get this ice machine made. If we can get that done, we are going to need some doodads for that. Do we have enough gold? Ooh, we might not have enough gold to make doodads work. Okay. Instead, <laughs> new plan. Let's get a pickaxe. And let's look. Doodads, we need two gold. And I think we might have needed two doodads to make the 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 thing. Is that true? Ah, uh, I, I don't remember the recipes, if I'm being honest. So, what I'm thinking is we pick all of these on the way through. Our sanity's pretty low. I'm thinking we get some flowers. Flowers are good. Uh, we will also try, I think, and get these crabs as we pass by as well, just to keep our food as high as is possible. Let's get this guy. He is done for. Good stuff. Let's pick the flowers. And then let's eat the flowers. Picking and eating the flowers? There's our, there's our day 19 lag. Wow, day 19. Ah, that's not good. Day 19 means we are, like, incredibly close to day 21, which is the start of winter, which is something that I do not want to witness. I'm hearing some not-so-reassuring sounds from our um, immediate vicinity. Oh, that would be why. That would be why. I am dead. I am, like... Almost certain. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, my goodness. Okay. We can outrun these guys. Oh, my gosh. All right. Well, new plan. <laughs> new plan is uh, to get on the flipping boat and get the flipping heck out of here. Oh, my goodness. Oh, we are in so much bad trouble. Oh, no. No, 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 no. This guy. Uh, we're running past so much stuff I want to collect, but I cannot stop. I can't stop. I won't stop. I'm not even gonna let those guys have a chance we might be able to live through one i would like to get these coconut trees we got to come back oh this is good this is not good this is not good i was gonna say it's good it's not good get in the rowboat get out of here oh jeez. wow okay well <laughs> let's head back and uh let's not die you know let's uh let's make that priority shall we i think i've said that like 50 times so far. Uh, maybe in this episode alone, but jeez, I'm trying so hard not to die right now. 17 health, 86 hunger, 84 sanity. Ah, okay. Day 19. There's some seaweed over there. Uh, we can come back for that. I'm pretty sure two seaweed was all we needed. Let's get off. Let's go grab the... Oh, he took the seeds. What a guy. Okay. I think we have what it takes to make... Oh, we'd have the, we'd have the gold. We almost have what it takes. I think, to make the ice machine. Um, so, I'm going to head back over and we're going to see if we can make it. If we can't, then next episode, like, the first thing we're going to do is just try and get some gold, like, as fast as possible to make this ice machine. So, uh, let's have a look here. We want to make ourselves a touchstone, or a thermal stone, I think it was, under survival. What do we need to make that work? We need... Uh, where is it here? Backpack, thatch pack, thermal stone. We need more flint! What? I thought we had the flint. I thought we had the flint. Can we make the seashell suit? We need rope. We have grass. Let's refine some rope. We don't have enough grass. That's fine. We have it nearby. There were a couple of crabs around. So food, even though we don't have the crock pot, 
food shouldn't be too big of a deal. And you know what? I'm actually going to go and light the fire real quick. Bees are all over the place right now. I'm going to light the fire. I'm going to cook some crab. So I think that does heal us a little bit. It does. It took us up to 18, which, I mean, isn't particularly high um, by any stretch of the imagination. But let's get some rope. Let's use that rope to make a seashell suit. Let's equip that seashell suit. I'm going to leave my backpack there. That may be a terrible idea, but I'm going to do it. We have a pig. All I want is to quickly mine this rock. Grab these wee bits of flint. Thank you very much, game. Don't even think about it. Don't. You flipping spiders. I'm done. I'm leaving. Look, I'm walking away. I'm going back to my own little private space. We're going to survival, and we're going to make ourselves a mother fudging touch thermal stone. Which apparently we still can't do for whatever reason. Why? Why? We don't have the stones? Oh, the stones are in my backpack, I guess. Ah, I see. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. Survival. Uh, first of all, let's get something on the fire. And by something, seaweed? Oh, this is not good either. Uh, okay. Instead, let's go and, um, let's go and uh, cut down a tree real quick. Oh, my God. This episode has not been good. This episode has, has not gone the way that I intended it to go. It has gone... Um, Drastically the opposite way. Also, we need to. Oh, this is not good. We need to work on replanting our trees because I have just walked past about 45 stumps, which have all ended in in not getting wood. And that snake better not decide to attack me before I've got this wood. Oh my goodness. Okay, that should be enough to get us through the night. We've got both wood and acorns. We should, as I just said, replant the acorns, but instead I'm going to probably use them for fuel because just surviving is better than anything else right now. It's a fudging spider. Right next to our fire, waiting to kill me. I don't want to attack him. As soon as I do, about 80 more are going to come at me. That was scary. Okay. Um. Okay. Can we make... What were we, what were we missing to make this thermal stone now? It's under, it's under survival, I think it was. What are we... What are we even missing? Nothing. Alchemy engine? Pro okay, here we go. Oh my goodness. Okay, we made... Oh, jeez. We made a thermal stone. The spiders don't care. This is good. We made a thermal stone. Now, all we need, I think, is a little bit of gold to make those doodads. And I think we're good to go. Let's have a look. Where is it? Ice maker? Yeah, we need two doodads and a little bit of other stuff. Do we have... Uh, let's look under science. Do we have what it takes to make the, uh, the rest of the stuff for the doodads? Uh, we need stone and gold. Uh, I don't think we have either stone or gold. No, we don't. Okay, well, with that, guys, I'm going to end this episode of Don't Stop the Shipwreck there. Thanks for watching. If you did enjoy the video, as always, be sure to hit that like button. Leave a comment down below, and I will see you guys next time.